Figma just announced the introduction of AI in FigJam to help solve some of the most challenging problems with collaboration. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to do. In fact, I'm not just going to tell you, I'm going to show you everything you can do with these three new amazing features in Figma. So let's jump right into Figma and get started. Diving right into Figma. If you want to get to this page I'm on, it's just the Figma playground that the FigJam playground that Figma released. You find it in the community, just type FigJam AI and you see the playground here. But now let's discuss about the three major things that were announced, which is using the generate, the sorting, and the summarize and how this works. So first, if you want to get access to the to use the generate and, and what they are used for, the generate they use simple prompts to generate templates for weekly team syncs, brainstorming storming retros or make you know time consuming visualization like gun charts flow charts and all the other charts you need in your organization and the way to get started with it is to go to the top left side you should you see this star with two little stars there tap on it and then you see the generate this is still ai better i was testing this earlier today and i also made a video that i posted but i've taken that video down because the ai was not working and i'm guessing this just due to some technical glitch probably with um, the open AI that is being attached to FigJam. Nonetheless, I tried again, it's working and I decided to complete this video. Click on generate and let's say like we are preparing to have a weekly sync. You're having a weekly sync with your team. You want to just prepare that board before they get there. If you click on the weekly sync, the AI automatically suggests some things that, you know, it feels you should be able to do in that weekly sync. And we'll just follow everything as it is. Let's say you want to start with an icebreaker, you have an agenda you want to speak about updates and possibly discuss next steps for your next meeting hitting this generate and watch the ai perform tapping that generate and right here as you can see it has created for us like his user storyboard that just shows you know the weekly sync you have an icebreaker uh, for this icebreaker i choose like choose an emoji that represents your current mood and explain why this is a very good icebreaker just to gauge where everyone is at that certain time you have the icebreaker and then you move on to the agenda discussion topics updates normally this will take you some some time this will take you like a good probably like 30 minutes if you've you know had everything planned out that's like planning and designing this but just with the click of the ai and if you're still watching up to this point consider subscribing and liking this video as this will help push this video to other people that need this tutorial just like you do let's get right back and finish up just with the click of the button boom you have it there what i really like about this is the fact that if this if this result doesn't really fit what you're looking for you can just tap on the generate again and the ai would create a second version it will try and create like other versions of the same flow but with different agendas in it for example like this icebreaker it changed the first one from it changed to the share your dream vacation with the team and what we had before was the choose an emoji that represents your current mood so if the first one doesn't give you the results you want you can always regenerate them to get better result so that is it for the generate the second feature that was released is the sort and the sort is, you know, it instantly categorizes your stickies so that you can spend more time on covering ideas and less time organizing them into clusters. What it basically means is, let's say for example, you're, you're in an affinity, dark, affinity mapping program, you're synthesizing your research, everyone is contributing. Normally, the way you would relate these cards or these stickies together is like one of the things like to maybe group them according to their colors, you know that just kind of shows like they are related and this would take you a while to sort it but with ai <laughs> just with the click of a button so you can as well just select everything there and you see this pops up here the fig jam ai click on it and click on sort stickies and watch what happens sorting out all the sticky notes there and what it has helped you to do is just kind of categorize that already so you have here facilitating the discussion enhancing participation building connections and fun engaging activities and like i said again what i noticed was that like if you're not so satisfied with that categorization you can always go back there and do it all over again and if you try its best to you know give you oh sorry you can just come back here click on it again sort them it will try its best to still further sort those cards 
giving you better ways to optimize you know your card sortings and give you as much information as you need in as little time as possible the third one would go to would be the summarize now the summarize it helps you shorten down different messages and list the important things you need to focus on a practical example would be just like we did in first time if you select all the cards there click on the start and click on summarize look towards your right and see what happened now this is breaking down all you need to know about every card here <laughs> like that wasn't good enough you can now also just copy this send it to someone or you can send it in a link copy the link and send to your product manager your pm other designers you're working with and everyone can see all you're working on this i feel is really really amazing and you should definitely try it out Ooh, figma is really doing some amazing things especially trying to foster that collaboration between designers and developers and these are some amazing ways you can use this new ai tools in figjam to help improve your productivity now some of these things might not work according to plan but then again these things are just still evolving as this was just released literally less than 24 hours ago as a time of recording this video so we should expect some changes and updates along the line so if you're scared of what happens to your intellectual property probably if you're working on a project that you don't want to be exposed to ai for data training and data set you can go to the help section on the figma website where figma has clearly stated that the data set taken from your fig jam is not being sent to open ai to help improve the machine learning instead it's just used to process it and send back so what it basically means is that your information is not being saved it's not being worked upon the ai is not learning on your information it's just processing it i feel like if you want to go deeper into this you can go to their help section on the website read about it see if you're comfortable with it before giving it a try let me know what you think about this don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to get started with figma there'll be a link in my comment section and if you want me to do any other kind of tutorial for you just leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. See you in the next one. My name is Destiny.